Roland and House Wolfort succeed in reclaiming Glenbrook, but they cannot rest easy, for new dilemmas threaten to tear the kingdom apart. For one, the secret of Sarah Noah's birth come to light with Lord Simon's passing. Meanwhile, the newly crowned King Roland struggles to reconcile his ideals with reality after punishing the royalists. Finally, there's the truth about the Roselle and the untapped salt crystals buried within the earth, revealed in a book to Frederica from her late mother. None of these revelations have an easy solution. As all parties discuss the matters, they receive word that the survivors of the Isfrosty army are gathering at the Grand Norzellian Mines. Forced to put all else aside to focus on driving out their foe, Saranoa and his comrades steel themselves for battle. The remnants of the Isfrosty forces are gathering at the Grand Norzellian Mines. Or perhaps I should say they are rallying there, preparing to defend it to the last. Something tells me you're right. Gustadolf may have used Lord Dragan's murder as pretext for invading Glenbrook. Yet I believe his true aim was to seize control, not of our kingdom, but of the mines. Once Glenbrook fell to them, Esfrost did indeed continue mining operations with notable zeal. Apparently, they transported huge shipments of what they excavated to the duchy, too. You mean iron ore? One would assume as much, but we do not know for certain. They say only a chosen few were allowed to have anything to do with the mining or transport. Odd, ain't it? Granted, the iron from the Grand Norzellian mines is supposed to be decent stuff. But the duchy has access to plenty of other iron mines of comparable quality. They've certainly no need to go to such pains to obtain resources from this one. You reckon there's something special about it? What my mother wrote of must be true. I've returned from scouting the Grand Norzellian mines. There were no signs of miners or couriers anywhere. The enemy's numbers do not appear that great. But the soldiers were occupied with some task within the mine. I cannot say exactly how many they are. Thank you, Huet. Well done. Well, there you have it. The Asfrosty army is scheming something at the mines. Whatever they are planning, we cannot allow them to continue unchallenged. Then let us reclaim the Grand Norzellian Mines. And in doing so, we shall discover the Duchy's aims in due course. Glenbrook has withdrawn from the sanctions and reopened trade with us. King Roland is truly a man of his word. Furthermore, during the battle for the Crown City, our forces sustained nary a scratch, while the Asfrosti were all but crushed. We could not have asked for a more auspicious outcome. An outcome that would not have been possible without the Elfric we supplied them. Still, Minister Sarah Noah and House Wolfort must be given credit for aiding in our victory. Minister Exham, how strange to hear you lavish such praise upon another. I am only speaking truth. Leaving Minister Sarah Noah in Glenbrook's hands is unwise. I agree. As one of the Saintly Seven, he belongs here with us. Of course. We shall bring him under our thumb. The Holy One has plans for the young lord. Making him our creature has the added benefit of bringing his entire domain under Hyzantian rule. But I doubt his majesty will be so willing to part with him. Oh, indeed. And yet King Roland owes us a great debt. Which will be all the greater after we help him rebuild the Crown City. We will so overwhelm him with generosity, he will be unable to refuse us anything. So, 
You mean to seize Glenbrook as well, Minister Edor. Somehow I am unsurprised. I seek nothing more than to spread the goddess's grace and wisdom. To Glenbrook and even Esfrost, until her divine protection shelters Nozelia in its entirety. That is what the goddess desires, and therefore, what the Hierophant desires as well. Is this all of it? Yes, my lord. This is all the cargo we were able to carry. Our comrades at the mine should be putting the final touches on everything right about now. Hmm. And why is no one telling me what is happening? I don't even know what cargo you are hauling. We're only following Archduke Gustadolf's orders, my lord. Yes, I understand that. Stop your sniveling. Perhaps you may have heard the Archduke has summoned me to Ironstone. This may be the last time I serve at this fort. As such, I would like to show my appreciation for everything you've done. Do you have a moment? The sentiment is appreciated, my lord, but the Archduke insisted we make haste. And did he also insist you spit in the face of his uncle's generosity? No, my lord, of course not. I meant no disrespect. We shan't refuse your gracious offer. Come with me. Can all that cargo truly be naught but iron ore? I suppose I shall have to find out what it is for myself. Were those the only ones? I do not understand. There were far more soldiers here when I came scouting. They've mined more since the last time we were here. Perhaps the enemy is further within. Likely that's the case. But navigating these twisted tunnels ain't gonna be fun. Indeed. The enemy may be waiting to ambush us around any corner. I advise we familiarize ourselves with the nearby tunnels before we head any deeper into the mine, Lord Saranoa. Agreed. Let's take care to cover our tracks while we look around.
Benedict, these spheres everywhere. Unless I'm mistaken, they're explosives. Yes, a means Lord Dragan devised for breaking through the bedrock. They aren't as powerful as blast crystals, but they are simple to set and can be manipulated to go off at the same time. Reckon I'll go collect whatever charges are left, my lord. Just to be safe. Thank you. I do not find it strange that there are explosives in a mine, only that they have been left here. Indeed. As deadly as they are, one would hope they were stored more safely. You'd think the miners would have put them at the far end of the tunnel if they meant to use them. But they're everywhere, along the whole length. If they were to detonate, the entire tunnel would collapse. Then they must have been left here on purpose. Intruders! Get them! The Asfrosty Army! The Asfrosty mean to seal off the mine! Do not let them through the tunnel! Kill them! But this is House Woolfort we're up against, Commander. You think I don't know that? The battle won't be easily won. But if we've the metal to use our explosives, victory may cost us our lives, but we can take those Woolfort curs with us! For Esfrost, for an end to Hyzantian tyranny! We must blockade the mines! Soldiers, make ready! I. No, they don't mean to. They would blow the tunnel at the cost of their own lives? Mad bastards. Still, fleeing is out of the question. I mean to show you just how useful I can be, Lord Wolford. Your aid is most welcome, Travis. Honor is mine. I live to serve. I'll give it a try. Leave the battlefield to me. Leave it to me! I won't let you down. If I need your approval. I'll do my best.
Comrades, we will seal off the mines, whatever it takes. If it costs us our lives to destroy our enemy, so be it. Detonate the charges and let them rot in pieces among the iron. We've no hope if they set off the explosives. Do not take this lightly. They're willing to martyr themselves to defeat us. Breaks your heart to see them throw away their lives like worthless trinkets. We owe it to their parents to beat some sense into their thick skulls. I shall try my level best. This must work. Time to work. Prepare yourself. Victory! Battle is ours. Oh. All right, the rest of you, keep going. Blow up the tunnel and seal off the mines. Damn it. We need to hurry before the explosives go off. Forward. Ah! <laughs> My lord. Ready to see a spell? I must remain calm. I shall do what I can. I see a path to victory. Time to work. Too easy. Allow me. For 
victory! The hunt is on! This ends now! Hope you're ready. For the honor of House Wolfort. Shall we begin? Allow me. I must remain calm. I'll show you what I can do. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. Ready to see a spell? I see a path to victory. All for victory. Now this is something! My turn. Now then. <gasps> My fist will have we here? true. Too obvious. Time to take flight. This ends now. Forward! <laughs> For victory! Brace yourself! Yes! Shall we begin? Time for some sorcery! Let us pry out their weakness. All for victory. Ooh. I'll give it my best. You've made a grave mistake! You won't fool me! My turn. You won't escape.
suffer. Shall I? For the duchy! For the loved ones awaiting word of our triumph! We will win this, one way or another! More of them. Stay on your guard, my friends. Ha! Defeat is not an option. Now I end this. Here I come. Yeah. My turn. Shall we begin? I see a path to victory. Now! Ooh. Now! Ah! <laughs> You're finished, you see that? Time for some sorcery. Fort bastards! We'll have no home to return to if we fail to seal the mines off! More soldiers. We need to stop them before they can set off the explosives. I will end this. is within reach. I must remain calm. Ha! We win. Now then. Where shall we strike? Here I come. My turn. Too easy.
I see a path to victory. This is our chance. Splendid! Shall we begin? Your wounds are healed. My utmost thanks. This ain't good. I needed that. Time for some sorcery. Me. Too slow! So it comes to battle. Here's a little something special for you! Allow me. You will not strike me. Where shall we strike? Ha-ha! <laughs> Time to work. There is no mercy on the battlefield. We must move fast. Sheer goal! Ends here. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. Sorry to worry you. Be at ease. I owe you one. on.
breath. Shall I? My fist struck true. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. Don't be afraid. So it comes to battle. My stratagem is superior. Your orders? For the honor of House Wolfort. The sand is here! That hit the mark. There is no mercy on the battlefield. This is our chance. Now this is something! I won't lose! You've made a grave mistake! Prepare yourself. Farewell. I don't pull my punches. We've been weakened. Your wounds are good. The hunt is on. Come if you dare. Hope you're ready. Yeah! <laughs> Leave it to me! I'll show you what I can do. Time to work. Ha! Victory is within reach. This is the end. So it comes to battle. And where shall we strike? Let us pry out their weakness. It's not over yet. Breathe your last! These frosty soldiers have been dealt with. Phew! Sure cut it close. What were those bastards thinking? The mine is ours again. But why was Esfrost so desperate to keep it from us? That was close. To think they tried to collapse the tunnel with themselves still inside. Why would the Esfrosti blow themselves up to destroy the place they were charged to defend? It makes no strategic sense. Nothing Esfrost does make sense. But if they were this desperate, there must be something in there they do not want us finding. We must see what lies at the end of this tunnel. 
Now let us press on. Oh! These pink rocks aren't iron. It's salt. Or rather... Salt crystal. Crystallized salt, untapped beneath the earth. The Roselian legend my mother recorded is true. The grand Norzelian mines must have been built upon a vein of crystals. This explains how Esfrost was able to cut ties with Hyzant. As long as they could excavate their own, they didn't need to rely on the salt from the Holy State. They could fight without it. How do you think Gustadoff discovered this? Lord Dragan was in charge of the mines until he was assassinated in that sudden as frosty raid, which Gustadolf used as a pretense to invade Glenbrook, after which he claimed control of the mines. That tells me. Lord Dragan was likely the first to discover the salt crystals. However, a struggle ensued between him and Gustadolf over their ownership. So Gustadolf had him killed and ordered the invasion of Glenbrook in order to seize control of the mines and secure the salt crystals for himself. That scheming bastard! Looks like we made the right call, taking back the mines. They already took loads of salt crystals to the duchy, but even that ain't gonna last them forever. Indeed. If we can hold the mines, Esros will have no choice but to surrender. And what if they discover another vein of salt crystals elsewhere? A real possibility, if the Roselian legend is to be believed. But the Grand Norzelian Mines only succeeded because all three powers worked together. If this is the kind of terrain salt crystals are found in, Esfrost cannot dig a new mine all on their own that easily. Meaning they are at their most vulnerable now, without a source of salt to call their own. This does not concern only Esfrost. The existence of salt crystals will undermine the very foundation upon which Hyzant is built. If people knew that, then the two pillars of Hyzantian power, the source and the might of their goddess, would crumble. And it would prove the Roselin legend is true. If we reveal the truth, they would be forced to free the Rosel they've imprisoned. We hold the very future of Norzelia in our hands. Whatever we decide to do, we cannot decide it lightly. Indeed. For now, let us return to the Crown City. Huet, send word to the capital. I want Kingdom soldiers posted around this entire area. Tell them to allow no one anywhere near the mines. It shall be done, sire. This must be what the old man was hoping to find. So, our army failed to secure the Grand Norzelian Mines. It would seem House Wolfort interfered. Glenbrook forces already surround the area, so retaking the mines is likely out of the question. They must have discovered the salt crystals. Damn them. Gather our soldiers, and be quick about it. Aye, Your Grace. I see you finally decided to answer my summons, Svarog. I shan't use laboring in secret to complete the death snell as an excuse. Punish me as you see fit. If you think you can, that is. I ought to wipe that impertinent smile off your face. I saw what they brought in from the Grand Norzelian Mines. Huh. So you know of the salt crystals. Enough secrets, Gustadolf. Tell me what you are planning. To use those salt crystals to put the final nail in Hyzan's coffin. To free the people of Norzelia from their tyranny by ending their monopoly over salt. By which you mean the strong will be free to trample the weak. 
Is that it? I will not argue semantics. Though it is at least far more human to struggle for one's own survival, rather than capitulate to the whims of some goddess. People have the right to discover their own strength and wield it to claim what is rightfully theirs. Just as you are contesting me at this very moment, Uncle. How long have you known of the Salt Crystal's existence? I learned of the possibility long ago, when I read of them in an old text from the archives. Ancient knowledge should never be discarded. As you well know, since you had Dragan study there to perfect his explosives. You are the one who had him killed. Spare me your unfounded speculation. I heard all that happened from the Woolforts. They were there when he drew his last breath. Act the fool, and you shall be revealed as one, Gustadolf. Dragan oversaw the mine. It only stands to reason that he would have discovered the salt crystals first. So you and your greed had him killed so that you might claim his discovery for your own! Not only that, but you used his murder as a pretext to invade Glenbrook. Am I wrong? Huh. You have an admirable imagination. Admirable, but mistaken. Your son was quite the ambitious man, you know. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean. Indeed, Dragan did discover the salt crystals. Who else do you think told me of their existence? Yet he refused to hand them over unless I made him Prime Minister of Esfrost. And your son's scheming didn't end there. At the same time, he had initiated negotiations with Glenbrook. He offered them salt crystals in exchange for a noble title. He sought to fatherland and foe for all he could get. Lies! All of it! How dare you dishonor my son's name! House Wolfort fed you a fairy tale, and you gobbled it right up because it aligned with what you wanted to believe. <sighs> Uncle, now is not the time for family squabbles. Glenbrook now knows of the salt crystals. It is but a matter of time until Hyzant learns of them as well. We must make ready to stand against them. What would you have me do? The Death Snell is taking far too long to build. See that it is finished with haste. Do that, and I will name you my Prime Minister, so you may fulfill your dearly departed son's dream in his stead. Very well. There is no time to waste. War will be upon our doorstep before we know it. A war to end all wars. A war whose victor shall rule Norzelia in her glorious entirety.